Hello everyone, welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 as the People's Front of Judea. We're currently at war with two nations, with Hadra Maut and Muscat. I hope I said that correctly. Anyways, so we are almost done sieging this guy. Actually, well, we had negative 35%, but soon enough we'll be able to uh, finish that off. And we currently... have we? Oh yeah, we just lost a battle over here, but that's not really too bad. Excuse me for this, all, uh, all of this zooming in and out. Um, yeah, so we just lost a battle, but this guy has to heal up now, which is totally fine, and he's going to retake that province, and by then we have hopefully sieged this. Wow, we just went from negative 35 to 0. That is pretty impressive, actually. Now, they have us completely blockaded. Um, that's obviously a bummer, but if we get to uh, siege this fast enough, we'll actually probably not have a big problem. Sabatian Separatists, a 2-4 general. Are you kidding me? Um, in the desert. Okay, so we're gonna move over these guys, and then we're gonna have to attack them. And obviously, my military leader has just died. Great. Oh well. Um, and these guys are actually going to go over there. Well, that is obviously a problem. So, we're gonna have to do something about that. So yeah, they're gonna fight them without a general. I can't even give them one. That is very annoying. That is truly very annoying, but there's not much I can do. We're just gonna send in all of our men. Hopefully that will be enough. These guys will probably arrive sooner rather than later and try to fight our 4,000 men. Yeah, I expect that. And all of our troops are over there and we're gonna get attacked. I don't think we're gonna be able to get out, will we? Uh, these guys will arrive on the 13th. Um, yes, we'll actually get out. Good. Although, not sure if that's really good. Uh, let's try though. Let's try to run away and get into the mountain area here. And then our troops should be free over here. What's this? Uh, placate Rome? We're not going to do that. Those are terrible missions. I think once we're done over here, we're probably just going to consolidate. Um, although, not really. we haven't really taken that many losses. Alright, so we got rid of one dude. So how many men are we over the limit? Still five. That's ridiculous. Alright, splitting them in half, I'd say. And he's coming over there. Alright, we need more time. We're not that quick. Um, when's that battle? 20th of November. No, we would actually be the ones attacking. Alright, he got us now. That's uh, quite frustrating, I have to admit. Um, gain tax, where is that? In Jazan. We are making most tax. Yeah. What is the trade that we're making here? Doesn't it, doesn't it say that? We have fish here. So I guess we're just gonna, yeah, get more tax in. That's fine. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna get attacked. We got attacked immediately. Yeah, he's gonna crush our army here, isn't he? Alright, well, we'll have to try and send in everyone we can. Mm, perhaps you do not even have any movement. So let's get a second leader. Hopefully this is a... Oh, he's actually quite good. He has two move, two maneuver. Um, so yeah. That's hopefully going to help out. We're going to stay here for a little bit. Um, or we're going to hold out for a little bit, but not for too long. Okay, a conversion has been successful in Najran. We have two more provinces. One is already being converted, kinda. So, what I think what we can do is probably get rid of this thing. Ah, whatever. We could get rid of the um, the policy, but oh well. Okay, so we've sent enough men, 21,000 against 16k. We keep losing and gaining these trading bonuses. That's rather annoying, actually. Let's go to speed 4, maybe. Okay, we finished the conversion over here now, or soon enough. Okay, so this guy is a 2-0, and we have a 3-1, so that's obviously quite useful. We have better discipline, offensive policy. Yeah, he doesn't have that one. So we have we have more morale. Good. And there goes the conversion. So yeah, only Maka needs to be converted now, and then obviously all the provinces we take from this guy. Good. And afterwards, I think... Well, are these guys rising up? Kinda. Okay. He's going over here. I think what we're going to do is send you. Um, no, get everyone together and consolidate. 
so that got rid of one infantry unit. So we have 9,000 men with our good general. You are going to get his capital. And... You get the horses, split in half. And the 5,000 men will go to Kinda. Good. So I wonder where he's going. Yeah, he's probably gonna just go home. Yeah, alright, that's fine. And I think we're gonna send these guys. Gain rep one Republican tradition. Well, we'll lose stability. Yeah, okay, I guess I'm gonna gain one Republican tradition. Alright, you go over there, follow them. So we have 5,000 men here, 4,200. This is 8,300. Okay, good. We can convert one more. Yeah, we can convert Marker. So that's also, these guys will probably also be pissed. No, actually, they, they're not. Interesting. We cannot lower... Oh, we cannot decrease autonomy while at war. Interesting. I did, know, I did not know that. Hmm. So I guess what we could probably do is make the... Could we make Mascot a vassal? I think no, because I did not co them. Why do I never do that? Hmm. I'm really not sure. Yeah, we could have done it otherwise. It would have been very smart, actually. Although, perhaps I would have made Parsha mad. But they don't want to ally us anyways, so it doesn't really matter. We're in an offensive war. Other than that, we're actually rather close to an alliance. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. He has 14,000 men. And they're gonna just... They just got reinforced. Okay, how about you stay here for a bit. And once you arrive... When, when will you arrive? Okay, another month later. 9,000 against 15,000, but they have no morale. You know what? Yeah, let's just try this. Their morale, I don't know how low it is, but it is... Yeah, they, they, they're movement locked still. So they don't really have a whole lot of morale. So we should be able to crush them. And then basically just siege all their stuff. You have arrived. Well, you're supposed to arrive. Good. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. Split you guys in half. Do it again. You siege that. You will siege this. Actually, you will stay here. Actually, mm -hmm. get rid of this guy. Combine you. You'll go here. You'll go over there. Yeah, and this way we'll try to just uh, kill them, if possible. Okay, he's going over there. Hopefully we can stack wipe. Yes, we might actually be able to stack wipe them. Amazing. They should not have enough morale, really. But neither do we. Okay, they did... They have been able to retreat. Cool. Um, you guys go here. And then over to Quasim, and you guys can start besieging that, I guess. And there goes the stack wipe. Okay, never mind. You besiege that, you besiege that. Awesome. Wow, that was very much fun. So, yeah, we totally won. Unfortunately, they're too big to vassalize because I did not cobaladrez them, which is just a shame, really. Should have done that. But oh well, how many men do we need? Let's get rid of the horses. How many men do we need? Okay, so let's get you back. Can't really consolidate much here, so. Yeah, can't really consolidate anyone, so let's just go back. Awesome. So that's that. I wonder how long they will be able to keep their fleet. Um, because that would... I mean, you would think that would cost a lot of maintenance, but apparently they're doing just fine. Okay, Benin Yas. Where is that? Oh, over there. Hmm. I guess we don't want any uprisings for now, so let's get these 2,000 men over to Maka. Actually, one over here, perhaps. Oh, we'll see. And just siege away. Actually, those are 4 3. 2,000. And you go to Maka as well. 
That's where you should go as well. Alright, now I think I got it. We have three horses. Okay. I'm really unsure where to put my troops here. Um, how about I give three horses? Yeah, it's fine. We'll just keep it this way. Whatever. We have spare diplomats, so I really don't know what to do with them. So I guess we're just going to keep them around. Um, we'll probably want to piece them out now because there's no reason to stay in this war any longer because we can't annex them anyway. Um, oh, but they wouldn't give us this. Okay, fine. Then we're just going to take their capital. That's fine. Totally fine by me. Okay. And we're also going to... No, we're not going to... We don't want rebels to rise up just now. Although, actually, we might want to do that. We might just want to do that. They still have their big navy here, which is kind of annoying. Um, I wish they wouldn't. Alright. Um, and let's get these guys... Now, let's get these guys over. 4,000. Still way over our force limit. I couldn't really consolidate that much. We didn't have that, that these big losses, so... There wasn't much I could consolidate. Still losing so much gold, though. Okay, so hopefully their rebels will rise up now. They certainly should. They have 11 unrest. Hmm. Not really making any gold. Wow. Looted, occupied. Not accept the culture. Yep. And we have the walls busted. I always like that. Alright, let's go speed 5. This war was easy. And the uh, next one will probably be against... Well, I don't want to... No, I don't want to go against Axum just now. Although, we do have the claims here, so... We're not going to run out. Um, yeah, no, in, in less than 10 years. So we'll probably want to um, go declare the war on Axum before we do something else. What is our fleet limit? We're probably also over our fleet limit. Yes, we are by four ships. Well, that's a lot. But we do have the money, so it does not really matter at all. Um, what does our inflation look like? It's actually going down, but it's at 6%. Jesus. Um, the full extent of the guild's activity. Um, gain stability. Leave the possible secret guild's influence unaddressed for now. Yes. Our republic is in danger. We cannot speak here. I don't care. I want the stability. Thank you. We did lose a little bit of prestige, but that does not matter uh, at the moment right, for now. We just don't need prestige that much. You basically need prestige if you have a vassal and you want to keep them in line. Okay, so we've converted. Awesome. Okay, Muscat has fallen, so let's piece these guys out first. Uh, give me all of your money. Oh my god, they are rich. Look at the inflation we would get from that. 700 gold. Um, you know what? Actually, yeah. I'm gonna make this a little bit... 713. Is that really all you can give me? Nah, come on. 713 is what it said. I know you can give me more. I hope you can. 720. There you go. See, I knew it. Seven extra ducats in war operations. But war operations, I think, are going to be better because we're not going to get uh, inflation for that. So, yeah. Thanks. This is just that guy. So, then we're going to get our troops back home. And um, now we're going to piece out this guy with a second dude. Just take all his stuff and all his money. Oh my god, you're so freaking rich. It's ridiculous. Awesome. And let's call this stuff. Because why not? Let's actually decrease autonomy in these two. Because we're going to be able to handle these two provinces, I'm pretty sure. Um, make them a core immediately. Or convert them before. Convert one. Yeah, convert them before. Let's get our unrest to tick down. Yeah. Okay, you actually... You go there. That's seven... Four... So, you go all there except for one guy. And this one guy I want here. There you go. 
This Maka doesn't- do you even have unrest here? No. So let's lower autonomy as well. If you don't have unrest... Okay... We might as well lower autonomy, right? These guys have risen up? Yep. Lower autonomy. Yep. Because that's gonna help us out with our force limit. I can't lower it. It has already been decreased, I think. They already have autonomy. Well, they already have unrest. Kinder. Yeah, so might as well. Might as well. Since there's gonna be an uh, uprising here anyways. Yeah, alright. That seems... That seems good. Convert both at the same time. Let's do that then. Awesome. So we'll convert them first. Let our uh, war exhaustion tick down. And then... Yeah, that's it. That's how we're gonna do it. Cool. 10,000 men guarding this province. 6,000 here and 6,000 over there in the mountains. And you probably want to get the other leader. There you go. Cool. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So we do have some of these guys annoying us. Three over the force limit and still four over this limit. But that's not too bad. We're not losing that much money. Only two ducats. Operation is not a lot, but look at the taxation we're making. Jesus. So good. Form an alliance with Rome. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna happen. Gain mercantilism. Yes. <laughs> mercantilism. Mercantilism always good. I I have read something in, in the EU4 Reddit that mercantilism is actually not that good. Actually not as good as I supposed... Well, I, I thought it would be. But, yeah, I still think mercantilism is nice. Provincial trade power. So that means in the provinces you you own, right? Like in the in the nodes you own, gives you more power there, but it kind of defeats the purpose of your fleets in a way. But of your of your um, what's it called? Light ship fleets, your trade fleets. But I still think mercantilism is a very good thing to pick up. It's just so hard to come by usually if you're not playing as a merchant republic. Can't threaten war. Oh right, yeah. Let's actually. Uh, Fabricate some claims. Oh, we could actually ally them. Look at that. Could we vassalize you? No. Alright, well, in this case, I'm not gonna ally you, obviously. I'm gonna freaking, uh... Where's fabricate a claim? Not that we are. Give me both of what you have. Because I like all your stuff. So these guys are obviously pretty pissed. Doesn't matter to me. Parsha, what is it with you? Do you want to ally me? No. Judean army thing have... Too many diplomatic relations, so that's obviously a big negative. Once he gets rid of that, we might actually be able to ally him. Our reputation is obviously terrible. Why is our diplomatic reputation that bad? Um, keep the guy. Get the bureaucratic candidate. Um. Yeah, what's the technology? Don't really need any of that. Uh, I guess keep the guy, although... Ah, no. We're not at 100 yet, so might as well get that guy. Yeah, it's fine. Get the bureaucratic guy. Now, the one conversion has already been successful. Awesome. That was very quick. How is our war exhaustion doing, then? Almost gone. So, yeah, it's that much. It, it probably doesn't matter anymore. So, yeah, let's just go for it. it. Maybe it's one admin point or something. Totally useless. Okay. We have a free advisor slot. National manpower, morale of armies. Probably want to go for that. Cost one... Dollar though, yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Better relations over time is probably rather useless. We could go for diplomatic reputation or trade efficiency, but both of them are rather useless. But I think this one's better. So yeah, let's go for trade efficiency. We don't need diplomatic stuff. Um, better relations. Don't think we need that. So I don't want to declare war just now because we obviously want to have these uprisings first because otherwise we're gonna have these uprising during the war and that would be quite terrible but yeah so nobody in the world's really doing anything except for us we're obviously just conquering everyone left and right um, so yeah that's kind of interesting okay yeah what is Rome doing he hates us he's hostile but he doesn't want our stuff he has actually a gold mine over there what what prompts did I just click on 
I saw a gold mine. Cool. That's good for him. But uh, we are swimming in money anyways, so we don't really need a gold mine. Anyways, guys, that was the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time. It's Chief Trunka, signing off.